everybody, I'm Roberta, and I'm here again at Page Hardware and Appliance Company on the beautiful green in Guilford for our last and final segment in our Valentine series. Today, it's all about the sweet ending, and we're doing a wonderful dessert. I've reached deep into the archives of my recipe books for this one. I'm gonna make for you today a chocolate pate, and there's really very little cooking required. This is one of those great desserts that you can do in advance and have it to wow your guests. So the first thing I've done is in a double boiler, I melted some chocolate, and that's nice and smooth. And I'm going to add to this some heavy cream, and some unsalted butter. And I just want to incorporate that, get it mixed in, have the butter melt, and it's going to get thick and rich. You see my spoon is slowing down. This is a recipe near and dear to my heart because when my husband and I, very early on when we were first dating, he took me to meet his mom and I had to bring dessert. I was a wreck. I didn't sleep all night. I didn't know what I was going to bring. Was she going to like me? I'd never met them. I drove my husband crazy, and I'm really not joking. I made this dessert, and it was a hit, and my mother-in-law loved it. So I'm thrilled to pass this on to you. It's really a take on one of Tom's favorite desserts from the early 90s called a Marquia Chocolat, which was basically a flourless chocolate cake. So. It's thick, it's rich, it's decadent, a little bit goes a long way. It is perfect for this Valentine's Day dessert. So everything is pretty much incorporated. My chocolate is nice and glossy. I'm gonna just take it out of the double boiler. Get rid of that. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna add our egg yolks. And again, when you're working with eggs and you're putting them into something hot, like cream or chocolate, you want to whisk really fast so that you don't curdle your eggs. And I kind of do it slow, one egg yolk at a time. And that also helps make sure that you're whisking that egg thoroughly so that it doesn't scramble on you. And your Chocolate at this point is going to kind of get to a, a fudge-like state. It's going to get stiff. It's going to get a different type of texture. Do not worry. It's supposed to do this. Now you add your flavoring. You can do anything you want with this. Today I have Grand Marnier. I really like chocolate with that orange flavor in the background that a Grand Marnier gives you. I've done it with Frangelico. I've done it with Amaretto. I've done it with just straight black coffee. And it's delicious either way. So make it your own and add your flavorings. And then the final thing is confectionery sugar that's been sifted. And you want to make sure that you have sifted it completely because if not, the granules of the sugar will not evaporate into the chocolate so that when you bite into it, you're going to have that gritty texture. And you don't want that. It would mar this beautiful dessert. That's all there is to this. It's so simple. You're just going to make sure it's incorporated and then you can pour this into any size pan you'd like. There are times that I do it in an 8 inch round cake pan. Uh, there are times I've done it in a loaf so everybody gets a slice. But for Valentine's Day, I found these adorable little mini spring form pans. And I think it makes a perfect dessert to share for two. I found them right in the housewares department of Page Hardware and Appliance. They're so sweet. I grabbed like six of them for dinner parties. You want to make sure that you place saran wrap inside your pan and you want to let it overlap because what you're going to do is invert this chocolate pate onto a plate and you want to make sure it comes out easily and doesn't stick. So I just want to show you how beautiful this chocolate looks. Yummy. And now I'm going to spoon it into my pan and this is a dessert that you make ahead. This needs to go in the refrigerator for 24 hours and that's why it's such a great entertaining dessert because it's one more thing that you get done in advance and it frees you up. Perfect. 
I'm just going to keep filling my little pan with this wonderful chocolatey, velvety mixture. And I'm going to pop this into the fridge. And when I come back, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy raspberry sauce to accompany this. See you in a minute. So now the chocolate pate is in the fridge chilling. And we're going to make a quick and super easy raspberry sauce to put down on the plate. I have raspberry jam that I'm just going to put in my pan. I want it to heat through and start to melt. You're not going to believe how easy this is, and it's really, it tastes restaurant quality. And then we're going to add a pint of fresh raspberries. Now, as is, it would be delicious, but I like to enhance that raspberry flavor just a little bit more and add just a little pop to it. So I'm going to take some raspberry chambord and add that in. Now I'm just going to let this cook for about three to five minutes really low. Make sure all those flavors meld together. And when we come back, I have a chocolate pate finished and I want to show you how beautiful it is. So I've let the sauce thicken for about 25 to 30 minutes. And now I'm just straining it to get out the seeds. You certainly don't have to, but I like the sauce a little bit smoother. So I just want to give you an idea of what it looks like, kind of syrupy. Very flavorful, so easy. And this you can make well in advance. And it's great for days stored in your refrigerator. It's a wonderful topping for ice cream, for any dessert that you have. And of course, whenever you lay a sauce down on a plate with your dessert, it always makes you look very professional. So this is our finished product. Isn't that lovely? And it's perfect size to share, so it's the perfect dessert for two. And you know, this was so simple. And I got all these ingredients right at Stop and Shop. And so it's, it's really such an easy yet elegant dessert to make for that special someone. I'm so glad that you had the opportunity to join us for this special series on Valentine's Day. And I can't wait to see you again. We've got a wonderful season of shows. Some great, great comfort food. Coco Van and Villa La Sabuco. Meals that were really going to warm your heart. And I'm thrilled to share it all with you. Remember, anytime you've got friends and family gathered, you've got an elegant occasion. I'll see you soon. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye.